cheapest games and codes gitway.com is the place for you link is also in the description what's going on everyone my name is Sophie and welcome to a new FIFA 17 video in the next couple of minutes we're gonna talk about the new patch that EA Sports has applied for the game on PS4 Xbox one and PC I don't want to do a video exactly after the patch was out because I wanted to play at least 10 20 30 games and see exactly if something has changed also in the gameplay let's start with the most important important thing guys the gameplay has it changed or hasn't it changed I don't think uh, it's changed only it felt a bit uh, slowish but overall I don't think there are important changes if I will feel any changes in the next games when I play be sure that I will make a tutorial on it let's continue now with the official Changes. Limited number of times a player can win a weekday tournament, I agree with that, uh, because uh, everyone should have a chance to participate in the weekend league. And for example, if I am uh, qualified for the weekend league, that in my opinion it's not that fair for me to play the final against the guy that is not qualified, if I win against him he's not qualified, <laughs> and still I don't win anything at all because I was already qualified. They said that they will limit the training cards, <laughs> well, that's not working yet. Maybe they added the option in the game where they can remove training cards from the Foot Champions games, but at this moment, uh, training cards, attribute cards still work, they can still be applied to players and you can play a Foot Champions game. Added new squad restrictions, <laughs> this will allow EA to ban bronze benches. Uh, Every pro player in the world uses this because uh, it helps a bit avoid scripting. If you have a higher rated squad, then uh, there's a bigger debate here about scripting. But unfortunately, again, this doesn't work at this moment. You can still have a bronze bench and join the Foot Champions tournaments. Another option that EA has added, you can see now the games remaining for each player in the top. For example, if you're battling for the top 10, then you can see that another guy has uh, 37 wins and 2 or 3 games left. Also, EA has added the 5 bars uh, connection option in all the online modes, so you will be able to see from uh, 1 bar to 5 bars the latency of your connection with the opponent. I never ever get to see 5 green bars in Foot Champions, so not a big difference for me. Last but not least, EA has removed the penalty kick arrow. In my opinion, this is the best thing they've done with this patch update. Because, for example, you get to the penalty kicks, your opponent has the arrow, you don't have it, and it is a slightly disadvantage if you don't have the arrow. Regarding this, I'm gonna do a special tutorial which will teach you how to do penalty kicks perfectly without seeing the penalty kick arrow. If you wanna see that tutorial going live in the weekend, let's try and get over 2000 likes at this video. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more FIFA 17 videos, follow me on Twitter for the latest updates. My name is Ovi and I'll see you guys later!